Today we're talking about gold and copper with Mike Sieb, the CEO of Getchell Gold. You know, Mike, you have four properties and your Fondaway Canyon project in sort of north central Nevada uh, really appears to be, um, well, a wonderful find. You've been drilling for gold and on virtually every hole you're finding gold. Bring our viewers up to speed on this really exciting property that you've got underway. Well, I mean, the, the last two years have been just absolutely spectacular. I and mean, we, we acquired the uh, property at the beginning of 2020. And then in a short two-year period, we've discovered three new discoveries. We've expanded upon them. And every drill hole has hit substantive gold and expanded the mineralization from surface. It starts from surface. And it shallowly dips about 800 meters down dip. And everything is completely open. So what was your initial response to these uh, drill results? Well, uh, I've never been involved in such a successful drill campaign in my life, right, in my entire career. I mean, to go from a uh, concept and then to start with one drill hole and two drill hole and then basically hit on every single drill hole and every drill hole expands the mineralization. Mm -hmm. And it's not, we started off with something quite sizable you know, a sizable historic resource. So we had a, a, an original area to work with and we've just been expanding it. And this year coming up is gonna be just phenomenal, right? I mean, we've, we've, we've drilled two fences, uh, you know, about five, probably expend, extending everything about 500 meters in length. And this year we're gonna be able to expand upon it widthwise and start connecting things up. So every drill hole this year is gonna be more meaningful than our past two, all the drilling that we've done in our past two years, because it's gonna add that extra third dimension and it's gonna be sort of exponentially expanding the, upon the mineralization. So how long will you carry out drilling programs uh, before you say, okay, we've confirmed that there is a mineable resource here? Now, well, we've kind of done it already. Yeah, I know, you know? But, but with everything, you need to have yes. a, a certain amount of prudence. I mean, we're, we're basically kind of on the path where it's towards a, a preliminary economic assessment. I mean, this is an advanced exploration project with a sizable historic resource, two years of successful drilling under our belt. And now over the next year to year and a half, we're going to start to kind of expand and infill, bring all the resource up to the credibility that you need to start putting a mine plan around it uh, with a preliminary economic assessment. So we're, we're in Nevada. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right. We're, we're kind of in the heart of the gold, you know, global, you know, realm. And to kind of be, have this degree of success and this sort of aggressive advancement in front of us, I mean, we, we are definitely going to be a, a company to watch. So based on where you're located, what's your access to the infrastructure you need to get uh, product to market? I mean, I'm going to say Nevada again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, there aren't roads and railroads that intersect absolutely everything. No. And, um, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're very accessible. Uh, we're just uh, east of Reno. Uh, a quick drive. I mean, you, you can be there in kind of under two hours. Uh, you know, cell reception, access road, uh, local communities. I mean, everything that you need. But in addition to that, we're also just remote enough that like nobody can see us, right? So, so in regards to advancing it and permitting and actually envisioning a, a full-blown operation there, you can actually see the steps in front of you. And that's what we're working towards. And so, so actually that raises the next question that investors are looking at. Like what is your long-term plan? Do you actually envision now uh, or foresee building this out and turning it into an operating mine that will be run by your, you and your team? I see, I see the project easily following that pathway. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't anticipate that Getchell will be involved in the final stages of the exercise. Um, but w for the benefit of our shareholders, what's in the best interest, where do our skill sets lie? This is basically our, our bailiwick. This is where we shine. Taking a, a project, basically advancing it to the certain stage where you increase as much and input as much value into it as possible. And then, I mean, it's Nevada again. So, right. I mean, it's, it's a merger and acquisition, you know, kingdom. Are you having any of the majors right now starting to poke around, uh, getting word of what it is that you're doing? 
I think we're not quite there yet. No, okay. Right? When, when you say major, major Nevada is like huge. Yes. But there's a lot of mid-tier companies where we kind of fit right in the home, you know, like the home territory for. Um, but I'm also maybe quite premature in that statement because, again, I, everything is wide open. Right. We've only drilled a certain extent. Yeah. I mean, for all I know, this could be an elephant underneath the ground. We haven't even gone that far yet to even test the extents. Yeah. So, so this is something new that people have been working on very superficially in the past, and we're the first ones to try and really kind of put it together and put the roots into the ground. And I mean, we've drilled down, I mean, about 300, 400 meters or so. I mean, some of these drill holes have hit 200, 250 meters of mineralization. Wow. And it's open still. We don't know how far it goes. I mean, the last, the last drill hole, the, the last drill hole at the end of the 800 meter long, you know, like down dip extent, it ended in mineralization. So we, we, I have no idea how big this could be. Holy. Do you have the resources, the financial resources you need to continue to, to stay on this aggressive path or will you uh, go out to raise some more money? We're starting off on a good footprint or a good footing right now. We have mm -hmm. about $4 million in the bank, you know, a, a, a good amount to basically initiate and exercise or uh, fulfill our, our uh, exploration plan for this year. But naturally, to really kind of do what I say we want to do, yes, we, we will have to go back to the market at some point mm -hmm. and really provide us with the resources to kind of add another drill and another drill and just kind of keep, keep hitting it. So, um, and with yeah. gold, I mean, with gold at $1,900 an ounce, I mean, uh, it's, you know, we're, we're, we're not even remotely close to the valuation where we should be right now. Wow. That's one of four projects that you have. I yes. know two are like for future consideration, but your, uh, you have one other project that's not too far away as well. What's the plan there? Yeah. There's, there's another project that's about 60 kilometers to the north of Fondaway Canyon. And uh, it's, it's kind of a sleeper because we've been uh, developing it for about the last three years, uh, sampling, doing geophysics. We've basically been setting it up for a drill plant. But if you, if you go to the site and you actually look and see, there's, there's a whole bunch of artisanal workings in the hillside. People have kind of been mining it at the turn of the century. And when you look at the material that they've been pulling out of the ground, this is super high grade. And it's, it's high grade copper, gold, and silver. Again, Nevada, and then you're talking about super high grade at surface. What we're looking for is we're looking for the big source of the mineralization that is expressed at surface. It's never been drilled before, and we're actually going to be starting our maiden drill program in the spring of 2022, so this spring. So, so that's, yeah, that's something to watch as well. And, and, and we're not being valued on it at all, right? Our, kind of our value is all kind of resident in, in what we've been developing at Fondaway Canyon. So this is kind of a huge um, additional possibility. So you've talked about valuation a couple of times. Um, as uh, investors are watching, they're going to say, okay, well, what's the most important thing that I need to take into consideration right now, Mike, when I, when I think about Getcho Gold? Well, it's the consistency of success that we've been able to produce uh, in our exploration. You know, I mean, drilling, you know, you drill to win, and we've just won big time. And, we're, and I anticipate that that's not going to change very much in the future. And as we continue to drill, become more aggressive, uh, and our activity kind of permeates the marketplace more, that all of a sudden you are going to see in conjunction with a good, robust gold market, um, the location that we're in, and as we kind of keep on uh, tallying up extra gold in the ground, all of a sudden there's going to be a major catalyst, like the, tri the, the light switch is going to go off. And if Hopefully people get in before that light switch gets turned. <laughs> when can we expect uh, to get results from uh, you know, your forthcoming uh, drilling program? Three, four months? That would or, be, or, yeah, yeah. yeah, that would be expected. We're, we're looking at, uh, we'll, we'll probably really start drilling in the kind of like the first week of May. Yep. But then once we start, then it's going to be a kind of a constant a conveyor belt of activity and results all the way through the year. So, okay, well, that leads me to will you please come back and give us an update? It sounds like an incredibly exciting. Oh, I would, uh, I absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, I love talking about it because, I mean, it's, 
I mean, it's the reason I wake up in the morning, right? I mean, it's, I, I just can't wait till that drill starts turning again. Well, absolutely fantastic, and I wish you great success. Thanks for coming in and sharing this uh, with us today.